It's Lexi Genius here. I'm back on the Victor M motor and I'm done with it. And we have roughly 20 videos on the disassembly, fixing, and assembly of this M motor. And that's what it takes to do. And I want to discuss a few things. We have it mounted in the motor board. I have the extra rubber all the way around, plus around the screws that go in. A couple of things about this. Because we have a lot of brass gears on these, we, you need a brass gear lube on these because we need a lubricant that will stay in there and run the gears like this. So we're not going to use green grease. What we're going to use... Why can't you use green grease? Because green grease is too heavy for this brass gears. We want to use super lube grease. Okay. So because of all the brass gears, I've lubed this gear with Super Lube, the Starbucks stopper. This gear, I've lubed this gear, and that's the only thing I, I've lubed with it. And what, in the beginning, I show you there's all this grease around the felts and the speed control. We change the springs on the governor shaft. The reason we do this is so the motor will run quietly. Now, on adjustments, What you will do, you crank it up all the way and then you will back this screw out. This is the tension on the ball bearing in here. And what this does is when you screw this in, this gear moves in to the spindle shaft drive gear over here. So what we have to do is we have to find this, the sweet spot. We have a gear here and a gear here. This is spindle shaft drive gear. In my right hand is this gear. And we don't want to drive it in hard like this. We just want to get this little sweet spot. And that's what I did with the paper in an earlier video. Then what you'll do is when it's running, you can back this off a little or tighten it, and then you'll tighten this nut by hand. Once you think, okay, it's running quiet, everything's hooking up, we'll hold the, gear, the screw in place and use a 3 8 inch wrench and you'll tighten the nut, because if you use this wrench, everything's going to twist in. So including the screw? Including the screw. So you'll hold it in place, and then we'll tighten that up just snug. Okay. So if we've, I've talked about, we flex-toned all these. We used STP because of running surfaces on these early motors. And this thing should do it in about two cranks, I hope. One, two. Aha. Uh -huh. Now you crank it up a little. And it, the noise you're hearing is hitting this in the table. And that's coming from this gear for the governor and this gear. But with taking it off the bench, whoops, it's running much quieter. So we flip it around like it's running. And this is very quiet for an early end. Very quiet. All I have to do left is balance the turntable, hook it into the cabinet, and we're good to go. No horn? And the horn. But this early stuff takes a lot of work to get done. You have to take your time. I discussed getting this gear off, how hard that was, and resetting all that. And that's my tip for the day. Almost. Almost. What were you saying about brass on brass versus brass on steel gears? When we have brass on brass, we need a lubricant that will stay in the teeth like this and let it run smoothly running around. It's not steel. You know, steel we can use green grease, but this we're going to use super lube to give it this lubrication. Why can't you use the same grease on brass to steel as you can brass to brass? Because on steel to steel, they're harder and the brass is softer and you'll notice this we could you can't put stp in here why because not because it's all going to drip off we have to have something that sticks so to show you if my angel can focus in you can see that we have a lubrication in these gears see the black line we have a lubrication in these gears we have a lubrication in this gear and in on the sides here you can see the lubrication into this gear so the lubrication is going to be different but, if you're brass to yeah, brass. Brass to brass. And you need this lubrication 
on your gears on an early motor. And you can see here where it's lubing here. It, the super lube is staying in here on this gear and this gear. You can see in here, we have kind of a shiny look inside the gear, like in here and here. And that's what you need to do on these. It helps them run smoother. We're getting rid of the noise. We're trying to get rid of the early noise. And that's my tip for the day.